All right, I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm using here for paint. Um, I'm using a Rust-Oleum Gloss Sail Blue, and I'm just using a little uh, snap-on touch-up gun, and I'm just thinning it with uh, with some paint thinner. I'm not a big fan of uh, I'm not a big fan of you know rattle can paint, but I mean it's good. It's good in its applications, but this is just too big. Um, I probably would have used rattle can if it um, didn't have all this grate down here, um, but it does. So um, it, it's just going to go chew through the paint, and it's actually cheaper to just buy it by the uh, by the quart or whatever. Uh, I've got everything taped off. This is just one coat. That's it. I've pretty much just kind of done the underneath real quick and uh, masked everything off. So now I'm going to mix up some more paint. And uh, so far, I've used about a quarter um, of a quart. So I haven't used much. Um, you know, like I say, this is just kind of down and dirty. Don't have a spray booth. None of that stuff. We're not getting too fancy here. We're just, you know, dumping it in the uh, in the cup and throwing some thinner in it till it looks good and spraying it out. So, and you can see here, I've masked off the outlets and. Uh, masked off the it's hard to see because there's really no contrast between the paint and the um in the masking tape now but uh so yeah hang tight and we'll uh mix up some paint start spraying it put a second coat on it all right i'm back let's uh put some uh, paint on this thing Well, there, YouTube, you get the idea. I'm going to uh, continue touching up. The gun's spraying a little thick right now. I get it a little more thinner. I guess that's all the uh, disadvantages of just uh, dumping paint in the cup and uh, adding some thinner till it looks good and spraying it. But uh, yeah, it looks good. I get a couple more modifications I'm going to do to it um, that I'm actually going to film the build uh, doing it. I'm going to do an adjustable uh, height table stand. Uh, that's going to be pretty unique. I mean, I've seen some similar ones, but uh, none quite like the one I'm going to build. Uh, so yeah, it should look pretty uh, pretty good. So this will probably be uh, the last video to this build, and uh, I will probably uh, in the next video just show what it looks like all completed, and then I'll start uh, fabrication on a uh, adjustable height stand that can be used not only on this, uh, but pretty much on any type of surface including my other workbench that i have as well so hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching